Hello everybody, this is Rockhard Game 45 back again with a different video. I say that quite a lot now, so maybe that's lost all its meaning, but this one is very different. I'm actually going to do a discussion video about how I very first got introduced to Doom. When I first played it, when I first knew about it, what my reactions were, and how stupid I was basically. Okay, so first of all, the first Doom game I ever played was on the PlayStation 1. A lot of people know that, that's why it's my favourite Doom, it's very nostalgic for me. I loved it, I've never seen a game ever pass it before. And no game will ever, ever top it. Now, when I was a child, there was only three games that I ever knew about and loved and played. One was Crash Bandicoot, why I love it now. Two was Spy of the Dragon. Why I still love it now, and three was PlayStation Doom. Yeah, what a mix! What a mix of games. <laughs> so, I got introduced to Doom by a family member. It was just happened to be in a little reduced game section in like a local supermarket of all places, which literally hardly ever sells games, but it happened to be there. And my family member picked it up, and that's when I very first saw it. When I very first played it was at the age of five, maybe even four. And, <laughs> well, although I was absolutely terrible at it, something drew me towards it, which I've never felt in a video game before, and I probably never felt it again. There's something just never made me stop playing it, something that always gave me the urge to keep playing it over and over again. I could not get past level 8 with the two barons. It, I'm not going to lie here, it took me over a year and probably a year and a half for me to actually kill them two barons. Of me, me literally playing the first seven levels trying to get as much health and as much ammo as possible to try and face them two barons. I thought it was like the final level, that's how hard I thought it was. Them two barons have never killed anyone quite as much as me. It was crazy. I just could not get past them. If I managed to kill one of them, I'd get killed by a nightmare spectre and so on. I'd just keep dying and dying and dying. I tried saving all my rocket ammo, I kept dying. And when I knew I had to pistol start at the level, I knew I had no chance of beating it. I tried every day. I, I tried for hours, every day, trying to get past it. Yeah, it wasn't until I was about 6 or 7 that I actually got past level 8 in the game. That's how crazy it is. So crazy much I loved it as well because in any other game I would have just gave up but 99% of other games I would have given up by that point but Doom no I kept urging to play on and play on and I did <laughs> I eventually beat it but it was the most satisfying feeling I think I've ever had when I actually beat level 8 but before I beat level 8 there was one enemy that scared the life out of me in the whole Doom it wasn't the Sire Demon, it wasn't the Mastermind, it wasn't the Kaka Demon, it wasn't the Pain Elemental, even though the Pain Elementals scare me now when the more I think about them. It was the Demon. It was because every other monster in the game sort of either shoots you or hangs back, but the Demon didn't do that. The Demon just charged straight at me, and I, my six year old self or five year old self, was not very good at aiming, and it took more than one shotgun shell to take down, and that scared the life out of me, I'm not going to lie. And soon as it got up to you, I had to pause the game because they literally just started eating you and eating you, and it was crazy. I mean, I still remember just turning the game off every time a spectre or a demon came out of nowhere and managed to get a chunk out of me. And that actually took me quite a couple of years to get over that. But eventually, I learned something really amazing in Doom. You could cheat, and yes, that's when I started using cheats to get through. I mean, originally started off with the God Mode on as well in the PlayStation 1 Doom and full ammo and health. But of course, after a while, I got bored of that because I literally beat the whole of Doom 1 with no um, challenge at all. I literally, I just loved playing through it. Even though I couldn't die, even though there's no challenge whatsoever, it still kept drawing me in with that creepy music. Not even the creepy music scares me, which is kind of scary, really, when you think about it. What the Spectres did and Demons did. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. <laughs> So eventually I played Doom 1 without the God Mode on, but just all the ammo. And I died a lot. I still died a lot. 
But after about two years, I eventually managed to beat the whole of PlayStation 1, Doom 1, without dying. Or at least I managed to get to the end without dying. And it felt so satisfying, even though I still had them all ammo gun, all ammos and gun cheat on. It still felt so satisfying to beat the game, especially that last level. Um, now, level 30, Threshold of Pain, is my favourite level in gaming history. Nothing's ever going to top that for its incredible atmosphere, design, gameplay and action. It's the best level I've ever seen in my life. I'm, I'm, nothing's going to top that now, I'm sorry, let's go away it is. But back then, Mac 29 was my favourite, Twilight Descends. I just loved that map. I can't explain why, but I loved it. It's just a map that I really found myself enjoying. I still do, I still love that map to this day, but of course it got overtaken, which is kind of crazy, because I thought Nostalgia would have a go in it, but that level, Threshold of Pain, nothing can top that in my eyes. The more crazy thing about PlayStation 1 Doom is that it took me, once again, over two years to realise that you can change the difficulty in Doom on the PlayStation 1. I didn't know this, because I every time... I was a stupid little kid, I'm not going to lie. Every time I tried to change something, it said episode and it says ultra violence because if you don't know, the PlayStation menu is completely different to the PC menu. So I went I went down to difficulty and I pressed X thinking that it would bring me down to a selection of different difficulties. But no, it brought me to the game and I thought, oh, maybe it changed the difficulty or maybe it did something. And I've done the same when it said episode. I went on that, press X, and it didn't change the episode. I thought, oh, maybe there's only one episode here then. Of course, that wasn't true, because Doom 2 was on there, and I'll get to that in a minute. So, it took me at least two years, or at least probably another few months after I eventually beat Doom on its own with only one cheat on it, to realise there was more difficulty. And playing it on Ultra Violence was incredible, because now it was even more challenging. Of course, I was terrible at it, but using the cheat, I got through it, and I loved it even more, especially when you find out there's Doom 2 enemies because I didn't know any of them existed because I only thought Doom 1 enemies I knew there was Hell Knights but I thought the Pain Elementals that only show up at level 30 were the final boss type enemies so that was a quite good shot to see them on level 1 it was crazy to see like these other monsters such as you didn't see the Chain Gunner or the Arachnitron there until Doom 2 or unless you play on Ultra Violence and I, like I said I never saw any of them enemies or the Revenant it was crazy when you see them I thought they were ex um, hardest difficulty exclusive monsters. And this is probably where it gets more embarrassing. It took me a further year to realise that there's a Doom 2. Yes, Doom 2 on that disc as well. I could not believe my eyes when I found out there was a whole set of levels that I haven't played. I mean, I felt kind of stupid, I'm not going to lie, because I was probably about 8 at this time, 9. It took me like 3 or 4 years to realise that there's two games on this disc. And oh wow, I was so satisfied when I did find out that. God damn it, I was so stupid back then. Anyway, Doom 2, I loved it. I didn't love it as much as Doom 1, but Doom 2 was incredible, I loved it. And just to put, add some more salt to this injury, I think I'm going to say that when I got to the final boss fight that happens to be two uh, spider masterminds, I didn't even notice they were spider masterminds, I thought that was just usual arachnotrons. That's how stupid I was. I was thinking, wait, this is actually the final level, and there's just two spider guys. It's the final fight. What? I thought there'd be a um, the cyber demon. Of course, I didn't know the name back then. There was known as other things. It took me quite a while to realise. Oh, oh, wait a minute. These guys are different. They're, they're much bigger than the Arachnids. How did I even get that? Pretty much muddled up. It was stupid of me. I'm not gonna lie. But. That's pretty much my original story with PlayStation 1 Doom. And then a few years later, after playing Doom pretty much every day, the only the same levels over and over and over and over again, I said I've never had so much fun in one video game. I just couldn't stop playing it. It's crazy. I eventually decided to look around and I managed to find this game for the PC called Doom. And City on Me thought that. Doom for the PC was actually the next game in line, the PlayStation 1 was the first one and Doom was like the port. Yes I know, because once again I didn't really know about Doom, I didn't really know much about computers, I was pretty young still, well, I was about 8 at this time. I just assumed that Doom on the PC was going to be 
that must have been 9 or 10 so get sidetracked again <laughs> Doom on the PC must have been the original port now Doom on the PlayStation 1 must have been the original port and the PC must have been the follow up and when I first played it I thought wow what this is this is the same game but completely different the music's different the textures are different the gameplay is different there's other levels and some levels are gone but because I love new things and I love doing I loved it first of all I thought this is 100% different and better than PlayStation 1 Doom. I thought that for a good few months after I played, I eventually managed to play Doom on the PC. I eventually got to play it. I really did think that it was better. However, about a few months passed, me playing PC Doom, the same levels over and over again like I did on the PlayStation 1. I got bored. I mean, I love PlayStation Doom and I love PC Doom, but I feel like the level playing the same levels over and over again on PC Doom didn't have that same feeling of playing the same levels over and over again on PlayStation 1 did. It felt like it was missing something. And after that I started playing PlayStation 1 Doom again and I kind of completely forgot about PC Doom. And this is before I knew you can get all these downloadable maps because then that completely changed it obviously because that led to a lot more variety in gameplay and levels for me to play on the PC than it did over the PlayStation 1. But at that point the only thing I thought is PlayStation 1 Doom is a lot better than PC Doom and of course I still think that today a lot of people would disagree but that's just my opinion and still to this day I actually get out of my PlayStation 1 and play Doom on the PlayStation 1 maybe for 20 minutes maybe for 2 hours maybe maybe for longer but no matter how long I play it I just never get bored of it no matter how many times I've bet, beaten level 1 to 59 I've beaten Final Doom level 1 to 30 I just never ever get bored of it. It's just crazy. And I've never, like I said, I've never felt like this in any other game. I've loved replaying old games, but I've never gone to that point where I could play it. I could play the whole campaign today and play a whole the whole campaign tomorrow and then the next day and the next day and so on and still feel like I'm playing it for the very first time. And that is really why I love doing the most. That's why I love PlayStation doing the ultimate most. So that was a bit of history about how I come across Doom and how really I became to love PlayStation 1 Doom because I don't really usually do videos like this I thought it would be quite fun to talk about because I've always wanted to talk about this It's kind of a crazy and stupid story that I had about how I was so stupid and <laughs> how I first experienced Doom myself and why I love PlayStation 1 Doom as much as I did or do today So anyway I'd love to know how you first got introduced to Doom, it'd probably be a bit more normal to my story and you probably won't be as confused <laughs> with some of the mechanics in Doom or something as I was but I would really really love to know what monster scared you the most if any scared you like I said I played Doom at a very young age, about 5, maybe even 4 and it, it was the spectres and demons that got me the most and of course the nightmare spectres in Playstation 1 Doom so anyway this has been Rock Hard Gamer 45 and I'll see you guys in the next episode Goodbye.